Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Sven's Media Madness episode 17. Uh, sorry I haven't been here the last two days, but uh, it's been a gripping two days uh, just like this after the election. Uh, first of all, congratulations to uh, President elect Trump. Um, I, you know, I can tell you I'm not a supporter of either one of them, and uh, that makes me kind of anyway out of there. I was not allowed to vote anyway as a German citizen still, but one day I will be, and then I'll screw it up just maybe as you did. I don't know. But anyway, congratulations. Uh, I think the message now, just to keep it really short and simple, should be unify, unify, unify. Okay? Um, don't get angry. Don't be sad. Uh, don't be too happy. There's a lot of things that uh, have to be done and uh, a lot of things that uh, have to be fixed. So support your president, support anything you can do. Um, don't go out riding. I don't think that uh, makes much sense. But anyway, we are here to talk about websites and social media. That's what uh, Sven's Media Madness is all about, to teach you uh, for free anything you need to know about uh, social media, websites, and online marketing. Um, including online advertisement. So let's jump right into it. Uh, on Monday we had an episode talking about what to ask your web developer. So the questions to ask so you get a really successful website uh, out there in combination with social media. And uh, one of the parts was Google Analytics. So I thought I'll just talk a little bit about Google Analytics and about analytics in general. So let's jump right in. I'll transition this over. Okay. And we'll go to Google. Okay, uh, you might have noticed new interface. Everything's new here. I've got a microphone and all these uh, cool little things. So uh, uh, I know this all works pretty nicely. Uh, by the way, you can see all those episodes right after this on Facebook again. We're we going to transform uh, transfer it over to our YouTube channel as well, and then also to the website. So tangramedia.com. Uh, I can actually pull this up real quick. So we've got it later on. Okay, let's just run this over. I'll talk about that. Okay, so Google Analytics. Um, it's really, really important to get as many uh, analytics programs out there as you can. Um, really, really important. Uh, analytics, as many Google programs as, uh, as you can uh, out there. Why? Because Google is the biggest search engine. The uh, more you um, are in bed with Google, and I'm saying that in a good way, uh, the better it is for your search results. And one of the things, of course, you want to check what is going on on your website, what is happening to it, who is on there, and so forth. And therefore, you've got Google Analytics, and Google Analytics is a free program. Now, being free is a little bit of a problem because it kind of has put everybody else out of business. There were some really, really cool programs out there, paid programs, but to my knowledge, most of them have disappeared because everybody uses Google Analytics these days. So, uh, basically, what you do is you log into your Google account or get one. Uh, by the way, if you have a Gmail, account that is your Google account a lot of customers ask me uh, uh, I just have a Gmail account no no no. if you have a Gmail account you also have a full-blown Google account the way to see this is you see all these little uh, these box over here little small boxes if you click on it a couple of apps will come up and if you click on more even more so photos there's your Gmail there's your Google Drive calendar YouTube of course which is part of Google and then Google Plus and we're gonna talk about that one separately because Google Plus is uh, is pretty important however um, Google Analytics is not on there which doesn't make much sense to me but anyway what you want to do is I usually just go analytics over here and just Google Analytics but see I've got it already in there it's analytics.google.com but if you just Google Analytics, um, the first thing that will come up is, is your Google Analytics. So if you click on that, you will come to the Google Analytics account. Okay. Uh, in this case, you, can, you have to sign in again. What you will see is a little bit different. You have to sign up first. After you've signed up uh, and everything's there, basically what will happen is that um, uh, Google will furbish a code for you. Okay, you will get a code, and that code has to be implemented on the website, so Google can see everything. Um, of course, without that code, you're not going to get any data back to Google Analytics. So if you don't know how to put any code into your website, ask your web designer. Ask us. Go to tangramedia.com. By the way, here's the website. Maybe not. There it is. All right. So tangrammedia.com. Um, just ask us a question. We can help you out at any time. All right. 
Um, so that's Google Analytics. You need to put the code on your website. Okay, and as soon as the code is on your website, you can start collecting the data on Google Analytics. And this will look somewhat like this. Okay, so uh, over to the right side, you got the data, and over to the left side, you got all the navigation. And there is tons of it, believe me. I mean, I can only scratch the surface today. So I can just show you how cool it is to have this stuff because you want to have feedback from your website what is going on. Uh, also, this will also tell you what is happening on your social media and so forth. So it's um, it's really very, very cool. If you have QR codes, for instance, you can uh, funnel those QR codes in here. A lot of things to do. First things I want to start out, okay, left side you got real time. So you could go to real time overview and see what's going on right now on the website, okay. So here on that website there's two users right now and I can see actually on which pages they are right now and what, what they are doing in real lifetime, where they are from. Okay, it's kind of hard to see here. Hopefully this works. Uh, so one looks like on the east coast and one um, up in the, in the central part there up on the lakes, okay. Uh, and they are basically on these two pages right now that's not moving much. So s you will see them changing pages and all of that. So that's real time. So that's really interesting if you have a store or if you have a lot of traffic. I mean, these guys have got pretty good traffic here as a customer of ours. Um, so if I go back to the overview, I see what's going on. So I see here that from October the 10th till November the 9th, one month's time frame is the standard that you'll get is you've got 10,000 sessions, 7,000 users, 23,000 page views, 2.56 pages per session, 1.1 1 .1 minute 57. That's all kind of normal numbers. Now, let's talk about the bounce rate real quick. The bounce rate is the rate of people who come into your website and don't go any further. Basically, they leave your website again, they close it out. So they go to the home page, look at the home page and leave again. They go to another page they found online somewhere on Google and they see the page and they're satisfied and they leave again, okay? So this is kind of a two-edged sword. On one hand, um, I don't want to have too high of a bounce rate. So 60% is kind of at the top end here. Um, if you have 80%, you have a problem. If you have around 40%, that's pretty good, all right? Uh, but there is a big but here. If you have returning customers, see here? Uh, they've got new visitors mostly. Okay, but if you would have, if this green stuff here would be a little bit bigger, like maybe 50% or 60%, then I'm not too worried about a high bounce rate. Why is that? Because people are going to go on the website and they know it and they don't see anything new and they leave again. So it's not such a big problem. But if in this case here, 60% is on the top end. So I would already check, hmm, where are the people leaving? What are they doing? And you can do that all in here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. The other thing you can do, and I'm already seeing, I'm already halfway through the time, so we're going to have to make another one tomorrow. I mean, there's, tomorrow we're going to have uh, phase two of uh, Google Analytics. But anyway, just to give me time here. So here you can change the date range. So I could go ahead and say, okay, you know what? I wanted to see what's happening from July. So now, or from June. So now I've got June 1st till November 9th. And I see that's pretty steady. I can change to weekly view, so it kind of evens out a little bit. That's pretty neat. Okay, we've got monthly view. And you can even go hourly view, which is, of course, going to go crazy now in a matter of the... <laughs> it's just going to be look like an EEG here. But anyhow, so I'm going back to the daily view. But now what is really cool, I can now go and compare this. Okay, I can compare this to what has been going on the previous year, for instance. It's pretty nice. Okay, so I can check out what this year happened to last year. And then I see, oh, cool, I've got pretty nice increase in traffic on this website okay I got an increase of 18% on the page views uh, the bounce rate has gone was is gone down to what it was before so that's pretty good uh, average session everything has gone up so in comparison to last year I'm doing really really good it's uh, it's all good I'm got uh, I've actually got uh, more new visitors no less new visitors so a bit, little bit more of a, a good constituency that's there all the time so perfect by the way if you have any questions in between please you know go Put it in the comment box. Uh, let me know about it. Um, I can right away here. I can answer the questions right away there. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty, pretty neat already. Now uh, it even gets better. I can go demographics. I can go an overview here. So now I'm always staying on this view, of course. Now I'm comparing from June 1 to November 9th with last year. So there will be comparison numbers. What has changed here? So all users. So, um, you know, the orange one is, uh, is the years before, uh, but you see, there's my age groups here. I mean, it's, it is so cool. It tells you what your age groups is, where they are from, because that's the next thing, geo. Okay, I can go on location. 
So where are the people from? It starts out with the world. Okay, and again, this is the comparison here. So I'm going to switch that comparison off, so otherwise it gets too confusing. So I'm going to switch the comparison off and just have that June 1 till today as the date or yesterday. And then we'll see what's going on. See, they, they got everywhere in the world apart from some parts in Africa. Everybody's there. And I think that's Kazakhstan here or something like that. But anyhow, of course, United States is number one. But look at that. Canada, Russia. Got a lot of people russia australia united kingdom i don't know that they they do something with motorbikes i don't really know <laughs> they they take your motorbike and they make it better so there's a lot of interest in other countries as well so then i can drill down if i go to united states then it tells me exactly okay so california i already can see here dark blue is pretty good and i can mouse over you know so in this time frame california was the best and it's obviously number one here and there again i can see new sessions new users and i can change dimensions and i can search for things i mean it's, this whole thing is nuts uh i mean if you take a course on google analytics you get certified this is a six weeks course okay so california texas pennsylvania then i can even drill down further so let's go to california and let's see what's going on there so see now i can go really into depth now i can say los angeles san francisco san diego okay so those are the big ones sacramento and then it kind of goes off so the four big cities here uh, uh in california obviously pretty well um uh, you know um, uh, on that website so now what what does this help me now let's say i'm doing email marketing now i can say okay i've got a lot of people from los angeles so now i can target in the email marketing i can target los angeles people or say i'm putting online ads in well i'm going to target la people uh because that's great and now i can go the gender and age as well so i'm guessing this will be more of a male thing but you know i might be mistaken yeah definitely more of a male thing big big 95 percent male this is testosterone side here on uh, on steroids but anyway this is by the way we're talking about google analytics um how analytics can help you uh how analytics can be implemented on the website and if you have any questions please just let me know all right cool so um so that's just one part of it okay we're just still we're still in the audience section here and you see there's more stuff interests okay i can go to interests what what interests do those people have so outdoor enthusiasts obviously uh, thrill seekers, uh, movie lovers, and you know I can take this and, and um, put that into my social media strategy, into my keyword strategy. Okay, so I want to outdoor enthusiasts would be a good um, good keyword to get out there. Okay, so motorbike outdoor enthusiasts. Um, you know, if you want to um, uh, promote your keywords, really amazing behavior. Uh, new versus returning engagement uh, I mean there's tons of data in here it's crazy I can see how long they're on there okay so most people are 0 to 10 seconds on the website so you know that has to be improved why is that and I know it's a relatively old website so you know maybe it's time for to renew that and I can just check the data from you know we just can compare it if that has gone down if that's a problem with the time so previous year I can just apply that and see what happened before okay so uh, I can see that last year yeah they were on the website a little bit longer however that long time here increased so uh, as you see it's nuts I mean the whole thing is crazy we could be sitting here for five hours and talk about it technology browsers network I can see which browsers the people used that went on the website it is really amazing and again we're gonna do a second part tomorrow because uh, we're not get gonna get through today in 15 minutes mobile mobile really good really good one I can see what's going on on mobile because mobile as we said is 50% of all people going online with mobile devices so here you go and again we've got the comparison now so to last year I can say see it's all up it's 10 percent up mobile usage from last year okay so here we go 29,000 actually 33 percent more people have viewed this website on mobile and I know it's mobile ready so it's good and see the desktop has gone down amazing I mean this is exactly what I've been telling you all the time if you don't optimize your website and it's not mobile friendly you're hosed because this is going up and up and up it's it's really crazy and then we can see what about the numbers here okay so uh bu 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 let's see the bounce rate for instance is that any higher yep it was really high last year it's gone better on the desktop and it's gone better on mobile so that's pretty good uh what about the time time is about the same on mobile it's gone up considerably on desktop 
And so I can constantly check out what is going on my website and I can adjust the website to that. And that's why analytics is so important. You should be here on there every second, third day to check out what is going on my website. What are people doing on there? Okay, I can do custom, I can do benchmarks, user flow, for instance. That comes up again in another one, but I can see what the people do on the website, how they flow through the website, which pages do they look at, uh, from which page do they go to where. So all that flows into the strategy of my website. Check this out. I mean, how cool is that? So this is uh, the United States people are going, you know, mainly on the home page. This is the home page. And then there is a, another one. Um, and I can see the, the link up there on the top. It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, it's absolutely super what you can do here. I'm just, I'm every time I see this, I'm flipping out because try that with traditional advertisement, okay? Try and ask your paper advertisement or you, where you went on your, uh, you bought a paper advertisement. Ask those people if they can give you this kind of statistics and they can't. Okay, so don't only look on how many hits you got, but there's more stuff. And now we've got just one, we just went through one of the three big uh, areas. There's acquisition and behavior, and we're going to go to that one tomorrow. So with that having said, let me switch over here so you can see my lovely face. All right, here I am back again. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Again, Voting's over, thank goodness. All the negative ads are gone. Now we can go back to seeing ads about trucks and baby diapers and all the lovely stuff. So um, thank you so much for watching. Remember tangrammedia.com. Uh, have a look up there. It's going to be at the end screen as well. Um, uh, it was great for you to come on. Uh, it was great for you to watch Sven's Media Madness. I'll be back tomorrow night at nine o'clock can i make it tomorrow night? yes tomorrow night nine o'clock i'll be back tomorrow night nine o'clock with uh, google analytics part two thank you so much let's see if i can find this outro here all right thank you so much for watching stay safe be happy and don't get angry